What's going on guys, JFC here. It is Saturday today. We got some pretty awesome promo cards in this new Winter Wildcards team that we got yesterday. We'll take a look at some of the prices on those. We got two more swap tokens today. So I think we were at 19 in total. We got one in the Winter Wildcard Cup. If you want to watch me rant about some of the stuff and skill-based matchmaking, you can watch my video that <laughs> I uploaded uh, a few hours back now. All you got to do is play two games in this and you got a Winter Wildcard swap token. So good job from EA there. And then we got one in SBCs as well. So we are up to 19, which also means that we are one away from the 20 mark, which many people are waiting for to do the 83 times 25 times three. In this video, though, I have three player picks, one of 284 plus, one of 284 plus, and one of 384 plus. They'll open at the end of this video. If you want to stick around, you sure can. We do also have some new leaks talking about like dates exactly for what is exactly coming up soon with team of the year and some other promos on the way. So we'll talk about that as well in this video. Let's, let's actually start with that. We do have some news surrounding the Fut Centurions, which is the next promo, by the way. There's a card design for it. I'll show you right now. So this is what the Centurions Turian card design looks like. This is also team of the year card design, by the way, if you have not seen this. I like the team of the year design better than last year, honestly. So this is what the Centurions one looks like. So this is going to be a two-week promo that starts on January 6th, and then we have a second team on the 13th, and then team of the year is going to start on the 20th. So we're basically like 20 days away from the start of team of the year. So I'm going to give a little bit like um, a longer outlook on the market today, considering as we know, team of the year is a time when the market dies, but then obviously there's a huge jump afterwards, but we'll talk about that like in a little bit here by the way nick pope is still not upgraded yet what is taking them so long it's been like four days nick pope still 86 ea what is going on there this this uh a new icon pack came out today by the way it's winter snowstorm pack it's horrible value please i'm begging you don't open it with fifa points coins whatever you have do not open this pack it's terrible and also this is just kind of like a hilarious um thought like i forgot i didn't even think about this ronaldo card um the fact that it's gonna be at el nasar is that how you say it el nasar yeah we're gonna have a ronaldo saudi league card so we'll see if we get any uh nice Saudi League links because I think from now on every special Ronaldo card is going to be from the Saudi League which is kind of an insane thought but yeah so the market right now is kind of we're pretty much seeing it exactly what we saw it at yesterday for the most part I think we will actually see it possibly even do a little bit better like in a couple hours from when you're seeing this video I think it might be like the peak maybe a little bit and if we get no content today it could stay at that peak for a little bit longer like Alloway Ram was 610 yesterday 618 right now he's a guy I always look forward to see kind of like what the market's looking like yeah yeah two race 600 so he stayed in the same price he was at yesterday so yeah, there's a lot to do in terms of gameplay on the games people are kind of building teams right now and we'll probably see a usual sunday sell off on sunday so if you can finish weekend league as fast as possible that was my recommendation for you and then sell your team pretty much as fast as possible i mean that's usually the recommendation for like most weekends but especially this one in case we get a leak of what's coming on monday you know we don't know what's coming for a game let's be see on monday yet but let's look at like the long-term outlook for a lot of these cards you know i'm assuming many of you guys have cards that are you know in that 500 000 coin to a million coin range like I think it's probably, it's probably where like a lot of your high tier cards probably are. So for those cards, we have team of the year on the way in 20 days. So it's basically three weeks from now. What I think we're probably going to see, this is very general, very broad, right? So this is, this might not be for every individual card, but this is just like the general sense of the market. I think I'll probably see it do all right this week. If Futs and Turians gets very hyped up with a lot of good leaks, a lot of good cards, you might see a little more panic sooner. I think that if Futs and Turians comes out and it's not the most amazing promo ever, we are getting icon, icon swaps, icon swaps also very soon and even though i think you know we just kind of saw a pretty big market crash within the last like week right i think that we've got like a week or so left of this market kind of staying like it is then it's very very risky at that point it could be a little bit longer than that before we really see a team of the year type panic stuff happening depending on how good fut centurions actually is and if you guys don't know the team of the year trends right let's go back and look at a fifa 21 card it's a very hype let's look at let's look at a um i don't know let's look at a hero janola that's what i looked at before you know this is a in that tier like a higher end tier card like a 500 000 coin plus card right the date today december 30th december 31st if you're watching this on the 31st janola was at 1.25 million last year so there's a little bit added hype considering he was new last year add in that like 100k tax for being new right it's basically the same price as he was last year and if you look right here we start to see the really big dip if you look over the course of like the 11th 12th 13th range he really starts to tank down to like under a million coins he's like where was he 990k which means he was probably more around like the 950 range around that time now last year the winter wildcard promo made the market actually do a lot of interesting things because the winter wildcard promo was so good it was right before team of the year we also had our first swap promo there's a lot of different things last year going on with that but i think delay the team of the year like 
crash a little bit i think we could see it like a few days sooner than we saw it last year like you know maybe 10 days from now is when we really start to i would want to be out of cards so, you know that's the kind of thing we're thinking about and obviously the safer if you want to be the safest you can be you you go out now that's kind of just the way it's going to be yes the market could actually go up a little bit more over the course of like this week like there's a, there's a chance janola um on tuesday or wednesday ends up being the same price if not a little bit higher depending on if we don't have much content right but to be the absolute safest you just kind of get out now there's a luckily there's a lot of good untradeable cards so what i would recommend doing with your coins basically is if you have a fun untradeable team just leave it untradeable and then grind the league sbcs i have a league sbc grinding video coming out later today if you guys want to know how i'm doing it and just have fun opening and saving packs in the meantime of you saving coins because you're going to be having more fun probably crafting packs and doing some of that kind of stuff while not having to worry about cards that you bought for a long time and just wait until that buyback window hits right around team of the year time now if we go back to the graph of fifa 22 when Genoa dropped down to 900k here on the 20th of january he ends up back at like over 1.1 again in his highest point on february 1st so what we see almost every this is the, this is just the regular team of the year cycle basically we see a huge sell-off prior to it then a ton of people open saved packs they opened FIFA points, which makes their basically just a huge influx of coins onto the market. That gives everybody a ton of more buying power and the market goes up. So this is what we usually see. You end up wanting to buy almost like day before team of the year. That's usually what you want to do. And my guess is it's going to be the same kind of thing. Yes, obviously a lot can change in the meantime. I'm just, I'm just speaking in a very, very broad sense right now, because obviously little things can change it here and there, leaks or whatever, but just in a very broad sense, that's kind of the outlook that you guys are probably going to be looking at here for market stuff. If you guys don't want to deal with the hassle of a trade, you can go to utnice.com. They are a cheap, fast, and reliable site to buy or sell FIFA coins for PS5, Xbox, or PC. You can use my code JFC at checkout for a discount. Just make sure you follow the couple of instructions that they have and you'll be good to go. Now let's go look at fodder. I don't actually know what fodder is looking like right now. I've been checking a couple hours. It's still down 11k. Perfect. 85s are like at 6.7. That's what we like to see. 87s at 15. That's what we like to see. Yeah, I definitely like getting in on fodder right now. If nothing comes out today, there's a chance that maybe it goes lower. But remember what I was saying, 83 times 25 is probably coming out today because they're probably going to drop a swap token today. You know, they don't do it every single day, but it's a Saturday. I kind of want to lean to the fact that they're going to, which in that case, I think the higher tier stuff is going to be really, really good to buy, especially like 88 or 21 and a half K, 89s at that 30K range, 90s at the 45K range. 90s are actually already kind of up a little bit, but I think they can rise more considering their jersey new SBC being out. I think with a gamble pack coming on Monday, which I think we kind of are expecting. Yeah, we kind of get one every Monday, right? So you kind of got to expect it. That plus 83 times 25 coming out for a lot of people soon. People needing higher end fodder for the most part rather than the lower end. I like higher tier stuff the best. I've said that I've said that in the last couple of videos, but I still a club stock because I've, I've been 87s at 15K. They haven't been 15K in a while. They really haven't been. It's a good deal. Same thing with 86s being like 11 or less. You can be for 11 or less. It's a great deal still you know if we get a an, an icon pack a hero pack coming um with an 84 and 86 rated squad requirements you're gonna make a ton of coins so just get yourself a little club stock either today if you want to get risky with it you might be able to buy for a little bit lower price tomorrow if we get no content those are your two options i'm probably gonna just club stock tonight just because i'm lazy looking at wild cards team one we talked about investing these a couple days ago i think I think it was a couple days ago, yeah. They're like the same price as they were. So you can see if they go up a little bit over the course of today, because they definitely could if we get more some more buyers today. And if we see a Monday market rise too, these guys could definitely uh rise up a little bit so i don't i like what we're seeing right now we're not seeing anything down so that's good so if you bought some i think you're still looking good there and the team two stuff i mean i can't believe how expensive some of these team two cards are i'm shocked how much is 765k i don't think this card is going to stay at this price at all i really don't think so i know he has 99 dribbling which is just awesome and his interceptions 86 you know good defending 96 stamina 91 aggression there's a lot of good stuff about this Kimmich card but i don't know if he's worth that that's a that's a pretty absurd price you know st max obviously it's it's st max will always be expensive i don't think that card's worth 600k though but yeah i'm happy this team is very very good you know it's unfortunate benzema is so good because benzema is 2.3 mil <laughs> he's a center mid because uh, i really wanted to try benzema and i'm gonna try him for my tier list video i'm gonna try and figure out a way to get him on loan so i don't have to buy him for 2.3 mil but we'll see about that but yeah obviously 
you guys know the drill don't buy promo cards right away just don't do it it's almost never a good idea unless there's a ton of saved packs that we'll talk about for team of the year though by the way team of the years on the first day are actually usually pretty good buys but that's a, that's a long way from now other than that um it's almost never a good idea to buy on the first day but the cards do look very good and i gotta give ea credit for that they do look fun also guys gold commons last week for a little bit were 600 coins each okay there were 600 coins each right now they're probably 350 if i had to guess yep they're back down to 350 again if you want a little lower budget trading option i think it's a wonderful idea you, you make 250 coins a card you add up on that times you know hundreds and hundreds like i know it's tedious but um if you need a cheap method way to make coins i say it like almost every weekend it's a great way to do it if you've done it like every weekend you probably are making a lot of coins right now so very good job we got the world cup world cup the world cup rewards coming uh in four days and 14 hours so that will be amazing the day that these stupid cards leave our club is going to be one of the best days in my life ever let's just open our player picks now because i'm done talking let's see if we can get some foda possibly a little benzema you know just a center mid benzema something like that 184 plus oh okay sadio mane that we will take doesn't help me get jerzinho that is going to be very helpful for that martinez not as helpful but argentinian legend one of three let's see what we can get Okay. Well, there you have it. That'll help us get your scene, you know? Okay. I am going to now record the video on how I'm doing the SBCs. So, you guys are wondering the best way to do that. Stay tuned for later today. Thank you guys for watching me every single day. I love all of you. See you in the next video. Very, very soon. Peace.